to have held on and held on and held on and then let go just before the trumpet Praise God. Hallelujah. The Bible says, hold fast. No man take that crown. Hold fast. Praise God. Hold to his unchanging hand. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. She wants to stand in for my lesson. We need to pray. Praise God. We need to pray. Turn that up and shut up. Glory to God. God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God. 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 Amen. We ain't got time to stop. Yeah. Amen. Praise God. We got to keep going on. Right. Right. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Regardless of how rough the road may get. <clears throat> praise God. We got to keep going. Amen. No matter how impossible it may seem, we got to keep going. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Why? Because there's a finish line up ahead. Amen. Amen. And there's a finish line up ahead. Yes, it is. Praise God. Acts 10, chapter, verse 1. There was a certain man in Caesarea called Cornelius, a tyrant of the band called the Italian band, a devout man and one that feared God with all his house, which gave much alms to the people and prayed to God always. He saw in a vision evidently about the ninth hour of the day, an angel of God coming into him, and saying unto him, Cornelius. And when he looked on him, he was afraid and said, What is it, Lord? He said unto him, Thy prayers and thy alms are come up for a memorial before God. And now send men to Joppa, call for one Simon, whose surname is Peter. He lodges with one Simon a tanner, whose house is by the seaside. He shall tell thee what thou oughtest to do. Praise God. Let's praise him one more time. God, we love you. God, we praise you. God, we thank you for your spirit that's in this place, God. We ask God that you just reach down and touch hearts tonight. Open up our, our understanding to your word. Anoint us and use us for thy glory. We praise you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Praise God that you may be seated. I'm going to go back to verse 2 where he's talking about Cornelius. He said he was a devout man, one that feared God with all his house, which gave much alms to the people and prayed to God always. Always. For just a little while tonight, I want to preach to you always. Always. Uh, because Cornelius prayed to God always, it brought salvation to his house, his household, his family, his friends. Praise God. He brought the word of God to the Gentile people. 
because somebody was willing to pray to God always. That word right. always means at all times. Regularly, constantly, <coughs> lasting, at all times. So he said, <coughs> which gave much alms to the people and at all times prayed to God. You know, pray to God always. Always, right? Many know we need some always in our in our life. Uh, we we need to be consistent in our walk with God. Huh? At all times he prayed. It, it caused God to take notice because the Bible said that he said, Thy prayers and thine arms are come up for a memorial before God. Right. Praise God. Praise God. You know, I, I, I think a lot of times, you know, uh, people ask the question, especially uh, to God's faithfulness, why are you always going to church? Why do you always worship? Why, you know, you, 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 you could, you could so you've heard people say, somebody may be talking about, saying, well, you know, Brother David Ward, why is he always talking about Jesus? Or, you know, why, why are they always witnessing about something? Or why are they always, you know, people don't understand. Uh, huh? They don't understand the, the desire within us. They don't understand the love that's within us. They don't understand uh, our, our love for God and our, and our passion for God and living for God. And, 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 and they don't understand the always. Things that, that is constant in our life. At all times. Regularly. See, we, we need to get to the place in our life that we do these things always in serving God. Until it becomes a lifestyle. See, a lot of, a lot of times living for God, a lot of some people never let it become a lifestyle. Living for God is a lifestyle. Amen. It's a lifestyle that I chose. I chose to be a Christian. Right. I chose to live for God. I chose to live this way. Hallelujah. And nobody makes me live this way. Amen. Nothing but the love of God. Yes, I believe the love of God constraineth us. So, always, always, go going to the book of Deuteronomy. All the way back over to the Old Testament, the book of Deuteronomy, the fifth chapter. Moses had just delivered the Ten Commandments uh, uh, to the people, and he was rehearsing it again in, in his ears what it, in their ears what had taken place. And, and he began to tell them. He said in verse 22, he said, "These words the Lord spake unto all your assembly in the mount out of the midst of the fire of the cloud and of thick darkness with a great voice." And he added no more. And he wrote them in two tables of stone and delivered them unto me. And it came to pass when you heard the voice out of the midst of the darkness for the mountain did burn with fire that you came near unto me, even all the heads of your tribes and your elders. And you said, Behold, the Lord our God has showed us his glory and his greatness, and we have heard his voice out of the midst of the fire. And we have seen this day that God doth talk of man and, and, he, and he liveth. Now therefore, why should we die? For this great fire will consume us if we hear the voice of the Lord our God anymore. Then, shall, uh, then we shall die. For who is there of all flesh and hath heard the voice of the living God speaking out of the midst of the fire as we have and live? Go thou near and hear all that the Lord our God shall say. And then this is, this is the, the children of Israel talking to Moses. And speak thou unto us all that the Lord our God shall speak unto thee. And notice what they said. And we will hear and do it. But look at verse 28. And the Lord heard the voice of, of your words when you spake unto me. And the Lord said unto me, I've heard the voice of the words of this people which they have spoken unto me. He said, they have well said all that they've spoken. He said, he said well, that, no, it's good that they said that. He said, he said it's, it, it's good that they've said that. That they're going to do all that I've told them to do. It's good that they've said that. But look, look what the Lord said. 
uh, in, in verse 29, he said, Oh, that there were such a heart in them that they would fear me and keep all my commandments always. All right. He said, now they've said it. He said, I just wish it was in their heart. Yeah. He said, oh, that there was such a heart in them that they would fear me and keep all my commandments always. If you studied the children of Israel from there on out, they didn't always keep His commandments. They weren't always faithful. As a matter of fact, they, they were constantly disobeying God. They were constantly messing up and having to be carried into captivity till God could get their attention again and bring them back to where they needed to be. But he, they, they just told Moses, he said, he said, uh, and speak thou unto us all that the Lord our God shall speak unto thee, and we'll hear it and do it. You ever have somebody tell you they're going to do something they didn't? <coughs> Oh yeah, I'm going to be there Sunday. Oh. <laughs> yeah, all right. <laughs> but but they'll tell you, you know, that's what basically that's what they were telling telling God, and that, that's that's about what they were thinking in their heart and their minds. He said, and, and, and we will hear and do it. And the Lord, the Lord heard their words, and He said, Yeah, they well said, they well said. Uh, you know what they what they spoke they 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 said it well, but he said, "Oh, that there was such a heart." And he said, "I wish that heart was in them. I wish that heart was in them that they would fear me and keep all my commandments always, 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 always. We ain't got time to let down. We ain't got time to stop. We we ain't got time to be disobedient." We need to keep His commandments always. We need to always be faithful. Amen. We need to always worship Him. We need to always pray. We need to always call on His name. Always, always, regularly at all times, call on His name. But look what He said. Oh, that there was such a heart in them that they would fear me and keep all my commandments always, that it might be well with them and with their children forever. He said, if that, if, that, if that heart was in them to keep my commandments always, if they do that, you know, that it might be well with them and with their children forever. Mm -hmm. You want things to be well in your life? Keep the commandments of God. Does that, does that, does that mean you're not going to have trouble? No, it don't mean that. But it does mean somewhere down the road God's going to hear you and bless you. Right. Yeah. So always, always be faithful to God. Always serve God. Have that heart in you that what the Word of God says, you're going to do it. You're going to do it. Psalm 16 and 8 says, I've set the Lord always before me. At all times. At all times. What does that mean? I, I've put him first. Uh, I've put him first. I have set the Lord always before me. You know, he comes first. He comes first. Yes, he does. Because he is at my right hand, I shall not be moved. There you go. Therefore my heart is glad, and my glory rejoices, and my flesh also shall rest in hope. For thou wilt not leave my soul in hell. And that word hell simply means the grave there, the abode of the dead. Yeah. Neither will thou suffer thine holy one to see corruption. You know, because it's in the grave that, that, that the body rots. And that's what corruption means, that rotten body. <laughs> thou wilt show me the path of life, and thy presence is fullness of joy. At thy right hand there are pleasures forevermore. Huh? If I always, if I always put God before me, huh? I have set the Lord always before me. 
Therefore, he'll show me the path of life in, the pre in his presence is full of joy and right hand peace. There are pleasures forevermore. See, the world seeks pleasure in all kinds of things of the world. Some of them have no idea what a pleasure it is to serve God. Right? Amen. Yeah. Hmm? Amen. See, see there, 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 there's all fine kind of things that, that, that the world uses to get high on, as they say. Yeah. There used to be a song, they'd sing song, that Jesus took me higher than I've ever been before. Huh? You've never experienced such a high as you can experience in the Holy Ghost. Right. Amen. Mm -hmm. yeah. the, the world has nothing to compare to it. Why? Because when you come down over that high, you're going to feel clean. Right. You're going to feel good. Yes, sir. You're going to feel joy. You're going to feel strength. And you're going to feel power. Yes, sir. Uh, praise God. That's why all the false gods out there <coughs> offer you this other stuff, right? Psalms 119 and 112 said, I have inclined my heart to perform thy statutes always, even unto the end, even unto the end. That, that, that means at all times, consistently. <coughs> Regularly, constantly. And my heart's been inclined to perform thy statutes always. Always, always, always. We you gotta under you gotta understand. When, when, when you start out living for God, you ought to set your mind and your heart that this is forever. This is always. This is my lifestyle. Matthew 28 20, notice what he said. Teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. Same way he commanded, gave the children of Israel the commandments. He said, teaching them to observe all the things whatsoever I have commanded you, and lo, I am with you always. He said, there at all times. There at all times, I'm with you always, even to the end of the world. Amen. Come on, come on, church. Ride this storm out to the end. Right? Yes, sir. Huh? Ride this storm out to the end. Amen. Praise God. Why? Why? Because the sun's about to come up. Amen. Already, I feel like the sun's about to come up. Amen. Praise God. Philippians, the second chapter. <coughs> Verse 5. He said, Let this mind be in you which, also, which was also in Christ Jesus, who being in the form of God thought it not robbery to be equal with God, but made himself of no reputation and took upon him the form of a servant, and was made in the likeness of men. And being found in fashion as a man, he humbled himself, and became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. <coughs> Wherefore God has highly exalted him, and given him a name which is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow, of things in heaven, things in earth, and things under the earth, and that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Amen. At the name of Jesus, at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow. Everything, of things in heaven, things in the earth, things under the earth. they got to bow at that name. We can bow now or we can bow later. I'd rather bow now. Amen. But look at verse 12. 
Wherefore, my beloved, as ye have always obeyed, see, it's all about obedience. Always is always, it's always about obedience. Amen. Every, every scripture just about that I've read tonight has something to do with obedience. Mm -hmm. From the first scripture that I read, to the, he said, Wherefore, my beloved, as ye have always but, uh, obeyed, not as in my presence only. Paul said, not in my presence only. <clears throat> but now much more in my house. Work out your own salvation with fear and trembling, as ye have always obeyed. Mm -hmm. For the preachers around that were in. He said, Work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. That don't mean find your own salvation plan. Right, exactly. But what that does mean is that. I can't be saved for you. You can't be saved for me. I got to work it out for myself. That's right. I got to be obedient to the plan of salvation for myself. Mm -hmm. Work out your own salvation with fear and fear. For it is God which worketh in you both to will and to do of His good pleasure. Hmm. How many know we were created for God's pleasure? Uh, yes, sir. I might well go ahead and hit on these others. Do all things without murmuring and dis disputing. Mm -hmm. Amen. Verse 14. That you may be blameless and harmless, the sons of God, without rebuke in the midst of a crooked and perverse nation among whom ye shine as the lights in the world. Praise God. Praise God. Holding forth the word of life that I may rejoice in the day of Christ they have not run in vain, neither labored in vain. Praise God. But to be always obedient. But to be always obedient. Praise God. And then this one. In Philippians 4 and 4. See it says, Rejoice in the Lord always. And again I say rejoice. Amen. Again I say rejoice. Rejoice in the Lord always. Somebody said, what, what's rejoicing? Well, one place describes it as leap for joy, but, but here, here's what I believe it means in this. It, from, from, from uh, well that too, but, but this especially from the Greek. Be glad. Always be glad. Boast, brag about who? About Jesus. Mm -hmm. And to be cheerful. Yes, uh -huh. Rejoice in the Lord always, or be glad, boast, brag in the Lord. Be glad, boast, brag, and be cheerful in the Lord. How? Mm -hmm. Always. 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 And again I say rejoice. Rejoice. Always. 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 At all times. We, we, we let Satan get us down too much. Huh? We, we let him break us down too much. Huh? What Satan would love to get you to do is get out of your routine of always. Hmm? If, if somehow he, he can mess up your routine of always, your, your routine of faithfulness, your routine of worship. <clears throat> See, Daniel, he didn't let a degree that has, uh, the decree that had been signed by the king mess up his always praying. He still went to that window and opened it up toward Jerusalem. And pray three times a day, like it always does. Like it always does. It was his always. It was his always. 
Praise God. We need some always in our life. Yeah. Why? Because a double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. Hmm? Always. Serve God. Always. 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 We need it to always. Cornelius prayed to the Lord always. Always. Yes, sir. That means you just at all times. At all times. At all times. Don't let Satan take away your always. Praise God. Praise God. Because God is looking for somebody with some stickability. Now right. stay with him. Regardless of the circumstances. Let's all stand. <clears throat> God can take care of a lot of things in your life but he, we can, he can look in your heart to see always there Yes, sir, Rick. You see some always there. See that heart is already made up. That mind's already made up. For serving. Praise God. Praise God. Come on, let's come and worship. Thanks,